Hey guys, in this video is a quick overview of how Microsoft Dynamic 365 works and what it can offer. So if you go into the Microsoft.Dynamics365, you can see this big banner in here that's saying that they have two types of application. They do have a CRM, which obviously um, means customer relationship management. So if you are into MarTech, you typically know what that means is. And there's also called a ERP business application. So this is basically a like high level, um, it's an enterprise resources planning application that usually used for business operation and automating back offices processes like accounting, procurement, and it's a bit kind of like a high level, like usually a mid and large enterprises use. So it's morally involves with numbers as well compared with CRM. Well, CRM also have a numbers, but it's really more in customer relationship. Okay. Now, one of the, you know, other CRM tools that is not Dynamics is HubSpot. So if you are familiar with HubSpot um, and something that you can use, but you're not really kind of like um, satisfied with HubSpot, you can also try the Microsoft Dynamics 365. And the good thing with Microsoft Dynamics 365 as well is since it's, you know, a big, like they don't just offer CRM, but they also have a lot of, you know, products. Like as I said, they have ERP, they have supply chain, finance, um, business central, commerce, and they even have a DevOps. So it's actually like a big, like, uh, like uh, all-in-one application as well, not just in a CRM perspective, but really um, uh, like multiple area is getting involved. So anyway, so with the Microsoft 365, if you just want to play around and want to get started, they actually have an option for you to try the ecosystem for free. So they do have a free trial. You can click this, just go into the Microsoft Dynamics 365, this link. I'm going to put it in the link description below and then click on try for free. Okay, and for the try for free, you will usually see all the products of Microsoft Dynamics that involves about ERP and CRM. Okay, now basically, um, when you said CRM is a customer relationship relationship, these are the CRM itself, the Dynamic 365, customer service, um, contact center, um, dynamic service field, um, Business Central is an ERP, so Customers Insights is also a CRM. So you can see in here really sales, ser um, sales service, service, service and marketing. These are CRM, Business Central, Commerce, Finance, Project Operation, um, Human Resource and Supply Chain is an ERP. And regardless of what products really is, you can try it for free. So Oh, by the way, for the 365 Finance, it's something like it's not free to like you cannot try the ecosystem, but you can request for a demo. OK, now in this case, I'm going to try the Microsoft um, Dynamics 365 sales, but you can always, you know, try everything. It's not it's it not going to cost you. You just need to sign up or log into your Microsoft account. So I'm going to click on try for free there. And then it's going to usually ask a like a business email address. If you don't have a business email address, that's fine. You can use your Microsoft um login but you there's an extra layer of like details that you need to put in if you prefer to put to use your personal microsoft email address so i don't want to add that extra layer of process of layer of process so i'm gonna just use my personal personal business email address click free trial and then here enter okay so it says here that i need to create an account because i don't have an account yet so i'm going to click on setup and then it's gonna just you know ask some few questions in here i really hate this one um what is what is the question big one that you do identical i'm so bad at this but 
this one okay and then you just need i'm gonna skip this one it's just too much so you just need to really follow the process to complete the free trial i will set up an account and put in my information in here and then only five to eight person um yes and then next so you just need to really just put in your personal information and then you click next and then um it will ask your code should be that should be australia Let's change. And yeah, so yeah, as I said, the good thing with this is like you have an options to really try the 365 it with its full capacity. And like a month of trying it is really good enough for you to to think if it's a good fit for you or not get started so all good and click on get started so with this part you should able to access the like the dashboard of microsoft 365 this is by the way like the settings in here so yeah if you go into the environment section under the left side of your panel you can see the products that are added so i just added the sales trial got 29 types to start with um this is environment or sandbox for now and you can also publish it if you want to like convert it to production um again i'm gonna i'm not gonna cover so much with a tutorial on this because this is just really a quick overview how you can get started with like tr you know adding the microsoft applications to your the 365 application to your account and yeah so if you click this one just giving you a quick overview this is the environmental url so when you said environmental um this is not yet pushed for a production i believe i haven't pushed it to production yet so it's a sandbox for now and if you click this this link in here um you will be redirected to um, add more products into your application so you create your products and stuff um, but yeah again I'm not gonna cover that in this video um, we'll have a secondary video for that um, but yeah as I said feel free to add a lot of products in your Microsoft 365 take advantage of the free trial play around with a free trial and if you have some questions let me know just link just click the link below and I'll be happy to assist you. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.